September 2026. The doors of Giga Nevada slide silently open, revealing the heart of a revolution. Instead of heavy, unstable, and expensive lithium batteries, Tesla is betting all its chips on something that seemed unlikely just a few years ago, aluminum batteries. Elon Musk, as always, is playing on the edge, but with a strategic advantage. While the world is still clinging to the promises of lithium and solid-state batteries, Tesla is already refining its own aluminum on American soil, cutting ties with China and the fluctuations of the Asian market. It's as if the company has found the perfect loophole to create a cheaper, safer car with incredibly fast charging, all without relying on what everyone still calls the industry standard. The logic behind this decision isn't just economic. It's geopolitical, industrial, and technical. Tesla knows China's dominance in lithium is brutal, controlling virtually every step of the chain. By migrating to aluminum, Musk isn't just changing the battery type, he's simultaneously eliminating the company's main vulnerability. And this move is shaking up the industry. Instead of bowing to tariffs and import policies, the brand is betting heavily on domestic, verticalized production. This reduces costs, speeds up deadlines, and puts Tesla one step ahead. And the most curious thing? All of this is being done away from the traditional spotlight, with prototypes in testing since the end of 2024. But why aluminum? After all, it has a lower energy density than lithium. But the answer lies in something no one expected. Tesla is using ultra-thin layers of aluminum stacked with microscopic precision. It's like stacking zero, five millimeter sheets of paper to form a dense and efficient core, light as a feather and strong as steel. The structure resembles a honeycomb, and it's precisely from honeycomb-shaped graphene that Tesla is molding its new anodes. This architecture not only solves the density problem, but also makes room for an 80 kilowatt battery that fits perfectly into the Model 2's chassis without adding extra weight. Another highlight is the charging speed. Initial tests show something that sounds like something out of science fiction, zero to 80% in just three minutes. A full charge in five. That's faster than filling up a gasoline car at many gas stations. And the secret lies in the electrochemical reaction of the aluminum with the gel electrolyte. This combination allows for incredibly fast ion conduction without the risk of overheating or degradation. The car feels as if it's always ready, as if it just unplugged, even after driving hundreds of miles. And speaking of mileage, the Model 2 with an aluminum battery has already surpassed the 600 km range mark in urban tests. This is with a battery that costs less than half the price of a lithium-ion battery pack. According to insiders, the cost has dropped to around $3,000 per pack, making it possible to sell the final car for between $17,000 and $19,000. It's as if the long-held dream of a popular electric car has finally left the PowerPoint presentation and entered the assembly line, and all this on American soil, without relying on exports, containers, or diplomatic crises. Taking a closer look at the design of Tesla's new aluminum-ion batteries, what stands out is the elegance with which the engineering team solved one of the biggest pain points of electric cars, charging wait times. And that's no exaggeration. Three minutes to reach 80% charge is practically redefining urban mobility. Until recently, this was a distant promise, often dismissed by experts. But now, with the stacking of ultra-thin cells and a new type of electrolyte gel resistant to extreme heat, what was once a prototype has become a production line. The feeling is that Tesla simply skipped steps that other automakers are still trying to understand. Of course, in terms of energy density, aluminum still lags behind lithium, about $200 to Iwachko versus $250 to $300 but Tesla has already cleverly overcome this obstacle. It increased capacity to 80 kW by using more layers per cubic centimeter, yet still managed to keep the weight lower thanks to aluminum's natural lightness. Ultimately, 
the Model 2 delivers 380 miles, or nearly 610 kilometers, with a battery that weighs less and charges infinitely faster. This is a game changer. A leap not only technically, but also perceptually. Suddenly, waiting hours for a charge is a thing of the past. The secret lies in multi-layer stacking, a technology never before applied in any production car. By stacking layers 0.5 mm thick, instead of the traditional 1 mm meter used in conventional batteries, Tesla doubled the volumetric density without compromising weight. It's like squeezing power into a smaller space, almost as if a battery were folded in on itself. And with this, new design possibilities emerge for the car as a whole. The Model 2's floor is thinner, the center of gravity lower, and the interior space is larger, especially in the rear. The result? More comfort, more stability, and more style. But the most surprising thing is the price. Tesla managed to reduce the production cost of each battery pack from $7,500, standard lithium, to between $3,000 and $3,200. This is a complete game changer. It's not just a more efficient electric car, it's one that fits your budget. The estimated price for the Model 2 equipped with this battery is between $17,000 and $19,000 before any incentives or discounts. It's such a price tag that it forced traditional automakers to revise their launches and schedules. Some competing models were delayed, while others had their prices raised simply out of an inability to compete. This advantage also extends to their lifespan. Aluminum batteries have an estimated lifespan of between 4,000 and 5,000 charge cycles, which represents between 12 and 15 years of use, depending on the driver's recharging routine. This reduces maintenance costs and virtually eliminates the need for premature replacement. And unlike lithium batteries, which degrade after just a few years, Aluminum batteries maintain more stable performance over time. This stability also helps preserve the vehicle's resale value, essential to the success of a model designed for the mass market. While aluminum gains traction as an affordable and fast solution, Tesla hasn't stopped exploring its most ambitious card, solid-state batteries. This technology, considered for years the holy grail of electric vehicles, has finally begun to emerge from the labs and become a concrete investment. With an energy density that can reach an impressive $500 coup, more than double that of aluminum, these batteries are capable of delivering an unrealistic range, around 1,000 km with a standard 60 km charge. Sounds like an exaggeration. Well, that's exactly what's being tested inside the Model 2 performance prototypes with increasingly solid results. The magic lies in replacing the liquid electrolyte with a solid, sulfide-based ceramic. This simple change eliminates many of the problems electric cars face today. No leaks, explosions, or the need for robust cooling systems. The safety gains are significant. What's more, with fewer internal components and a more compact layout, the battery weight drops from 363 traditional lithium to 243. This allows the car to be lighter, more agile, and to boot with more interior space. The design difference is so significant that the Model 2 with a solid-state battery has a floor lowered by up to 7 cm compared to the Model 3. With less weight and more power, performance takes a leap that until recently was reserved for premium models. According to engineers involved in the project, the Model 2 performance has already achieved 0 to 100 kilotwin, when to a 20 meters h acceleration in under 4 seconds. This puts an entry-level car on par with sports models, but with ridiculously lower operating costs. Furthermore, charging time is another strong point. 80% in 10 minutes, full charge in 14. It's the kind of experience that eliminates so-called range anxiety meaning drivers no longer need to worry about how many miles remain until their destination. Another impressive detail, solid-state batteries are incredibly compact. With fewer layers, no liquid, and integrated thermal protection, they take up up to 50% less space 
than a lithium-ion battery pack. This opens up new possibilities for design and functionality, more trunk space, roomier rear seats, and a more spacious cabin. This flexibility allows the Model 2 to be more than just an economy car. It becomes a model that also offers comfort, sophistication, and performance. It's as if the popular car is finally ready to compete with the big boys. But this technology isn't just about autonomy and speed. Thermal resistance is also out of this world. While aluminum batteries can withstand temperatures up to 572 degrees, solid-state batteries can withstand peaks of 750 to 2 degrees C, a figure so high that it makes this type of battery virtually invulnerable to fires, violent collisions, or critical failures. Even in extreme environments like the Arizona desert or the Colorado mountains, tests show stable and safe performance. For the average consumer, this represents a peace of mind that's still rare in today's electric vehicle universe. With two cutting-edge technologies at its disposal, Tesla decided not to choose a winner. Instead, Elon Musk opted for something few expected, launching two different versions of the Model 2, each with its own battery and purpose. The idea seems simple, but the execution is strategic. On one side, the model with an aluminum ion battery focused on low cost and ultra fast charging, ideal for urban centers and daily commutes. On the other, the Model 2 performance with a solid state battery aimed at those seeking greater range, high performance and premium comfort. It's as if Tesla were saying, you don't have to adapt to the car, the car adapts to you. This approach allows Tesla to reach two different audiences without completely reinventing the design. The structural foundation is the same, but the internal tweaks make all the difference. The standard model, lighter and more agile, excels in cities, with a recharge time that fits into a coffee break. It's ideal for those who drive up to 200 km per day and want economy, practicality, and a greener footprint. The performance version, on the other hand, is designed for long trips, open roads, and drivers who don't want to compromise on power and range. And most interestingly, both models share the same visual identity, with few external changes. Everything happens under the hood and under the floor. This flexibility of choice brings a new standard for consumers. Instead of asking, what's the range? They can now ask, what type of battery suits my lifestyle? And this completely changes the way they consume an electric car. The experience is no longer limited by technical specifications and becomes guided by real needs. Need speed and low cost? Aluminum. Want raw power and maximum safety? Solid state. For the first time, consumers no longer need to compromise. They have real options. And this impact on the market goes far beyond Tesla. Other automakers are already feeling pressured to offer similar alternatives. After all, while some are still struggling to standardize a single technology, Tesla is already delivering two in a single launch. This stance also accelerates the energy transition, as it serves both those looking to take their first step into the world of electric vehicles and those looking to upgrade from their current EV. And let's face it, this kind of technological inclusion is rare in a historically elitist sector. The logistics plans also reflect this duality. Production of the aluminum battery model will be focused on gigafactories in the US and Mexico, with initial distribution in the Americas and Asia. The solid state version will be more limited, starting from Tesla's Nevada plants and eventually Texas, with a focus on premium markets in Europe and North America. This segmentation ensures that each version is launched efficiently, respecting the charging infrastructure and consumer profiles of each region. If there's one thing that still raises concerns about electric cars, it's battery safety in extreme situations. Explosions, fires, overheating, all of these have made headlines and become arguments for those still resisting electrification. But it's precisely at this point the Tesla decided to rub technology in the face of doubt. Both the aluminum and solid-state batteries 
were designed to withstand conditions that would make lithium beg for help. The idea wasn't just to improve performance, it was to redefine the limits of thermal safety. And honestly, the result is hard to ignore. In the case of aluminum batteries, the biggest advantage is the polymer gel electrolyte, which remains stable up to 572 dryern, around 300 hydrolyters. This is more than twice the critical point of lithium electrolyte, which begins to evaporate and generate flammable gases at 100 cephebundritinsextri, 40 C, 80 digrisargs. In practice, this means that the risk of fire with aluminum is virtually zero, even in severe collisions or intense heat environments. In internal tests, the pack remained intact after simulated rollovers, punctures, and even direct exposure to fire. It's no exaggeration to say that this is one of the safest batteries ever developed. Solid-state batteries go even further. Their sulfide-based ceramic electrolyte withstands temperatures up to 750 feet to go, 400 degrees. This completely eliminates the need for liquid cooling systems or additional heat shielding. With fewer components and no flammable fluids, the internal structure becomes naturally resistant to thermal and mechanical shocks. And this isn't just laboratory theory. Tests included high-speed collisions, direct fire, and even shocks with short-circuited metal objects. The cell remained sealed, stable, and functional, a veritable wall of battery power. This thermal stability not only increases safety, but also extends the lifespan of the cells. Less heat generated during charge and discharge cycles means less chemical stress, and less stress means less degradation. Aluminum batteries last between 4,000 and 5,000 cycles, almost three times longer than standard lithium-ion batteries, which typically last between 1,500 and 1,800. Solid-state batteries easily exceed 10,000 cycles. This represents over 25 years of continuous use without significant loss of performance. It's almost impossible to forget the concept of battery replacement in electric car vocabulary. Another little discussed advantage is the absence of volatile gases. Lithium batteries, when damaged, can release CO2, oxygen, and even hydrogen fluoride, substances that ignite, corrode, and endanger not only the car, but everything and everyone around them. In the case of aluminum and solid-state batteries, this simply doesn't happen. Even in extreme cases, the most that can occur is a slight increase in temperature, but without gas emissions or risk of ignition. It's a silent revolution that increases not only consumer confidence, but also the credibility of the technology with regulatory agencies and insurance companies. From a strategic perspective, Tesla isn't just developing batteries, it's building an independent production empire. And aluminum is the key to unlocking that door. While other automakers are still negotiating with suppliers and facing lithium import bottlenecks, Tesla is digging, refining, designing, and assembling everything under its own roof. The partnership with Graphene Manufacturing Group has accelerated the development of graphene honeycomb anodes, which increase the energy density of aluminum ion cells. This technology, applied directly to Giga Nevada's production lines,